Hey, welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We are here once again with um, Lake Superior Community Partnership CEO Chris Germain. Thanks for um, once again meeting with us. Absolutely. And um, kind of one thing we were kind of alluding to towards the end there was um, housing in Marquette <laughs> yeah. County, and that's uh, obviously a very touchy subject. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess what is what are some things that the Lake Superior Community Partnership is doing to kind of address the need for housing in this area? Oh man, I think we could spend like a whole day yeah. talking about that. Um, <laughs> I think in a nutshell, there's really a handful of things we're doing. Uh, we have a housing strategy that folks can find at marquette.org slash housing uh, that also houses all of this data, right? And the big quantifiable thing was a target market analysis that was done late last year that actually puts real numbers on paper in terms of the demand and the types of housing and the demographics of folks who are here and those who want to be here, right? And that suggested that our market could hold up to 980 new build units every single year and 1,445 rehabilitated units every year for the next five years. That's wow. 10,000 units of housing. Wow. Right? But the issue, of course, is that a lot of the housing we're building right now isn't actually matching up with where that demand is because we also looked at price tolerance and things like that and it's mostly in that 150 to 300 range which no matter how you might feel about developers right they have they have the families to look out for and they have to be able to make money and mathematically it just doesn't work to build housing at that level right so a part of what we also done is make sure that we're capturing all those state incentives and building other local tools and working with other local tools mm -hmm. like invest up's build up fund to make sure that we're able to get that price point down into that range that people can buy and beyond that we're doing all sorts of education all sorts of networking and connecting developers and banks and other folks but it's also for us just information and sharing that right i think mm -hmm. sometimes it can really feel like there's all this shadowy stuff happening behind the scenes. We actually had our intergovernmental housing task force called a shadow task force at one point. Oh, we we're like, guys, if you knew what happened in these meetings, you wouldn't call that. Um, but I mean, they, they were a really effective group, but people just didn't know what they did, mm -hmm. right? And so now we've tried to bring light to all of that work uh, through that webpage and all the public events we're doing. Yeah, and that's something really important too, like especially like, like I'm a young guy, like potentially looking at housing and that can be, especially seeing like the housing prices go up and up and up and mm -hmm. up and like not it's knowing scary. really how the process, yeah, it's scary. Mm -hmm. Like, and I just want to make sure, like, as a young person, I'm sure other young people feel the same way. Like, they want to make sure they're not getting, like, taken advantage of or, like, getting, like, price gouged on a house or anything like that. Yeah, I think most people would agree that the housing market has its challenges, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'll say when I took this job, I wanted to be back up here. I spent 14 years trying to come back to Marquette. And the night before I had to give the board an answer, my answer was no, because I couldn't find a place to rent, mm. right? And it took me making phone calls to folks that I knew up here because I had a network and something shook loose in the morning I had to give them a decision wow. right and so uh, and then we spent the next two years trying to find a house to buy which we successfully bought in June finally which I know we'll talk about a little later yeah. um, but that was such a relief for us right so I'm writing that generation that's living right mm -hmm. that oh I didn't have a house it was my mid-30s before I could even afford to buy one and I got darn lucky that I ended up in the city. Yeah. I mean, I know I did. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, we will continue to obviously talk about this topic, uh, watch the work being done, and hope that we start to curve toward something better where people are finding a little bit more of what they're looking for. But yep. let's talk about a couple events that you have coming up because mm -hmm. I want to let you know how you can connect with um, the Lake Superior Community Partnership. Um, we have some information. Let's put that up on the screen. Okay. So uh, the first one is coming up on September 26th. It's a county data webinar is that talking about some of the information you just mentioned or is it something different yeah so we do an annual data book every year that local governments and businesses can use to make decisions or grants or things like that so but we've overhauled the data book this year so if you've seen it in the past this is the year to actually check out the webinar and look at it. Okay. It's pretty cool. I'm a data nerd, so yeah. I think it's cool, but you know, some people are like, that's oh, weird. <laughs> like, well, so. you know, I'm, I'm not into data, but I like it when someone can break it down and tell me it in a normal way. Yeah, and you'll be able to get that. <laughs> It'll be graphics and explain why okay. this matters and what it is. If that's pictures. what's happening okay, at the webinar. Yeah. I, like, okay. I like pictures. Yes, yes. <laughs> pictures are indeed great. And, and you can register for that on your website, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay, and what time is that happening on that Thursday? Do you oh, remember? Is, I do not remember. <laughs> We wrote it down somewhere, but I don't know where we put it. But we'll put this information on our website. Yeah, we'll 100%. get the time for you. And then Friday, September 27th, the next day, you have a lunch and learn with the Small Business Association of Michigan. Yes. We're yeah. Really excited about that one. They come up every year. They spend a week in the Upper Peninsula. And they, Brian Cowley and his team always spend some time specifically in Marquette County. But they'll be in other parts of the UP, too, for folks who are listening to that. Um, and that's a chance to really meet directly with SBAM. And that's one of the most powerful tools of joining the partnership up here is we actually get a three-in-one membership 
membership. So when you join us, you also become an affiliate member of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and you become an affiliate member of the Small Business Association. Okay. And their resources are incredible. Okay. So. so if you're interested in either of these events, check out Marquette.org. That is the LSCP's website. You can learn a little bit more about the topics and yep, also absolutely. register for the event. So happening 26th and 27th. Okay. So I say it's time to put the job aside. We, as you said. It's really hard. Just, I know. There are so many topics, as you mentioned. I mean, pretty much we really brushed through a lot of it mm -hmm. because we could spend hours on just one of the topics that you that you work on every day. But I wanted to take this opportunity to get to know you in another way because sure. we always see you wearing the economic development hat. Yeah. But that's not all of who you are. You ask my husband, he says it all. Yeah. Like, well, I will say that I have, met, I think I've come across you in the woods a couple of times with Absolutely, your dog. Yeah. So I know that you have interests outside economic <laughs> development. So we are going to learn a little bit more about right. what, what you do outside of the office <laughs> after the break. <laughs>